Hello everyone, welcome into this new video. Let's take a look how we can use Dali number two to improve our marketing uh, stuff, our marketing ideas, and uh, it's gonna be helping us a lot to improve our company. So in order to get started here, I'm using Shopify because in Shopify I do have a website. And here I do want to sh I do want to show you an example here. So uh, speaking about this website that I actually created a few seconds ago, uh, I want to look for, I don't know, maybe like, I want to change the heading of my, of my, of my website. So I'm going to choose, let's say, for example, future and logic, um, I don't know, maybe PDM. So this is like the name of my, of my, of my actual website on my company. So here where it says default log, I can go and select an image and I can choose free image, right? So speaking about free images, I want to look for futuristic. And here, as you can see, I don't have like uh, a lot of options. I have like great stuff here to add into my uh, into my website, but I think it's not that accurate. I think that I need to look for a specific custom images. So uh, one thing that you can do to customize your own ideas, of course, is to go into some freelancer services. So if you want to look for, let's say for example, that I want to see like uh, here, I want to see a lady, a neon lady, futuristic style, cyberpunk style. So if I don't know how to use that, if I Google that, I mean, of course, I'm not going to be able to use it because I don't have the rights for doing that, for using that. And of course, this is on my image and I want a 4K. I want to have my own image. So what ca what can I do? What can we possibly do? So that's the reason why uh, this is where it comes, the DALI number two. Because DALI number two is going to be creating some really, really realistic images and art from just a description in really natural language. So if I create my account, I'm going to leave you guys a link down below in the description so you can get a free account. I'm going to tap into a new one. I'm going to see, I'm going to go for neon girl in cyberpunk style 4k hq so if i look that into google they can appear like really really awesome images that i wanted to use into my brand into my website but once again i don't have the rights for doing that i don't have the rights to create it so i want to find an image that i kind of like and what I wanted to do is to either um, tell Delhi to create a very version of what I do like, or I can create my own from scratch. For example, I do have this uh, lady. This is a cyberpunk new girl wallpaper HD. So what I can do is to save my image. I can go here into Delhi. I want to upload my image which is actually this one. I forgot to save it. So he's going to save it. I'm going to hit into Jelly. I'm going to upload my image, which is actually this one. And I just want to use a square area. All I'm going to is go into script cropping. And here I'm going to make this like this. And there we go. So I'm going to hit into play. And what I do want it to do is to ask the computer to make a variation of what I love to see here. So I'm going to hit into OK because if I want to generate a variation of an image, I need to upload this into a square. So you want to take that in mind. I'm going to hit into crop. And here I want to choose the generate variations. So it's going to be generating three more images uh, in the style that I just asked the computer from. This is the reason why this is called artificial intelligence and this is gonna be helping us a lot to our brand. So here is my original image. And let's take a look of what this the computer did for variations. So as you can see, I do have different images that were generated automatically. So you don't have to worry about this option because you might be telling to yourself like this is too uh, easy, this is too broad, uh, this is not so functional. So what you want to do is to select the image that you totally like and here you want to choose variations. In my case, I don't have free credits anymore, but 
I'm going to be showing you something that I actually did. These are a few images generated by some other artificial intelligence. And what I did is to actually do exactly the same thing that we did before. Uh, make more variations and more variations until uh, the computer created this one. So this one was generated with Majoni and the other uh, DALI number two applications. There were a lot of artificial intelligence, but at the end of the day, this was the final result. And for me, it's really awesome to have this neon image. So I just need to download that. I can go into my store and here you can go into upload. And I'm going to assume that this is my image and it's going to be looking so much more interesting than just an image, a random image from my local uh, store easy browser. And of course, it's not only just about creating your own images. It's about being creative into DALI number two. For example, I created this um, astronaut. So I asked the computer that I want to see the product that I just added into another into outer space, into another world, and I want to see like a few colors, and I want to see like more different styles. So, just to being like a little bit more creative, I can look, for example, to Coca, to Coke, and here I can look for my product, for example, this image, like this one. I can go into save my image. I can hit into saved. I can go into Dali number two. I can go into upload an image. And here I want to choose open. I want to choose skip cropping. And here what I do want to do is to leave it like this. And here into the generation frame, let's say that I want to uh, ask the computer to uh, draw King Kong holding a Coca-Cola. So that's how we can get creative. I can just use my product to add more stuff, use the artificial intelligence um, into my favor and try to create my own stuff here into DALI number two. So once you do have like one idea, take a look for example into this idea of a unicorn using a red racket sitting on a couch in a watercolor style. It's really basic, right? It's like too, too basic. But what I did is to have like more elements so I can add that into my into into my DALI number two and I can create something like more realistic based on what the computer created for me. With this kind of example, I do want to quit these boots. I want to quit the color of this jacket. I want to quit, for example, the... Uh, I'm not pretty sure if this one are like some glasses. So that totally depends on what you're looking for. After that, I just delete this inside DALI number two as we just saw how to do this and we have new images to add into your dialing number two. So here appears the history of what I've just created um, and day by day and with more ideas. And the best part is that I created this totally for free. So there's no excuse guys for, for you to start using dialing number two as your favor for your marketing uh, stuff. So with that being said guys, hopefully this was a very useful video for you. Now don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel if you do want to see more great tools about this DALI number two. So just keep in mind that guys. So thank you once again for watching the video guys and I will see you on the next video. I'll see you soon.